Good morning, YouTube. So today, half the job is already done. So I'm going to show you the part of like finishing the job because we are installing my second seat. Right now, it's got headlights on it. So I'll have to clean those out. And then, yeah, we'll get it in. We'll be able to show you kind of like an updated interior, which is great. Um, it also means that I have more parts out of my car that I can put in my shop so that they're not cluttering the garage. Because right now, there's an extra set of wheels, like my purple wheels came off. I have my works on. Um, I have one racing seat, one stock seat. Like, it's a mess. So we're going to get that cleaned up today. We'll get the new seat in, and then my stock seats can go out to the shed. Here we go. So this is when being small comes in handy. Because I can actually, like sit in my um, well here and I have to unplug all of these because these were heated seats. So I gotta unplug them all, unstrap them all, and then we can pull the stock seat out. Alright, just like that. So these were what held it to the car. Um, it had like a strap for I guess the back car like floor mats. We're stuck to this bar here. But yeah, so now it's all unstrapped. It's all unbolted. I'm going to pull it out and get it out of the way. And then we have to mount some seat brackets to the seat. And we have to mount the brackets to the car. So yeah, let me do that. We'll be back. I don't know if any of you have ever screwed around with sliders. But I'll just kind of break down how it works. Your, you got these two pins, and the handle has two holes, and these literally just sit in here, and they get sandwiched between each side, and then when you lift it, it releases the me mechanism. that will be easier without this. So it lifts this, and then you can slide, and then it locks into a cog, then it's these. So what we need it's for it to be all the way out because we need this hole. We'll get the front two holes on and then we will slide it all the way the other way and put the back two. Yeah. All right, sliders are on. So it's got a bolt here, a bolt here, and then you put up. I don't know if I can do it unhanded. And they slide up. Yeah, now we have to mount that bracket onto the bottom of them because the bracket is how you mount it to the car. All right, so sliders are on. We've got the bracket on. We've got the seat belt on. And we just have to put it in the car now. In order for us not to have that seat belt light, when we took the seatbelt off the OEM seat, it's got a wire that goes underneath. We took all the pins out of where it was pinned up underneath the old, like the OEM seat bracket. And we're just gonna, we got it routed underneath the bracket so it doesn't fall down. And it stays in a nice spot. And it's time to just plug it in. And there's no more seatbelt light. Or I guess it's like an airbag light that comes on, right? Bolton. Let's do the crappy ones first. So on the back, the way that this bracket is built for the car, you got your mounting hole, and then right over top of the mounting hole they have the plate for the seat to mount to. So what we got to do is take the OEM bolts, and we're just going to shorten them up a little bit so that we can wiggle them in there. Well they're in. I think they look way better than stock. They're not like any name brand or anything, but the stock ones were super stained. Um, 
really didn't look that great. So these give it a new look and then eventually we'll change these out too. But for now, I think it's way better.